Good day. I welcome you to our midweek service this week. Um, I'm very grateful for your having joined us. And I want to express my gratitude to fellow men of God, uh, Pastor T. Mudani, Pastor J. Due, who has been sharing with us. I also want to take this time to thank Apostle J. Shawa for granting me this opportunity. Um, I want us to have a look, or rather a continuation from where we left on safety in the midst of a crisis. In our last, last session, we shared about being responsive to the word of God. And you find the word of God is core to everything that we do as God's children. When, if you read the Bible from the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God. When you hear the word, it produces faith in your soul. And your faith should be rested on the word of God. Let us open our Bibles to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. The Apostle Paul says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power and of power in the power of God, desire and seek to have a personal encounter in your life with God. Everything that you do as a child of God should help you come to a position where you can have a personal story to tell about God and about his word, about what the word has done in your life. As an individual, develop a deep desire. Do not just depend on what you heard from others. Do not just depend on rumor. When you gave your life to Christ, you were brought into a position where you, your life can be changed by the word where you can have a first-hand account of what God can do and what God can do to his people. It is a wonderful privilege that you have in the Lord. I'll give an example from the book of John, chapter 4, verse 41 and 42. It reads, And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that he is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Many of us are very familiar with this story that I have just read. Many people had come out of the city to come and see a man who had told the Samaritan woman everything about herself. And she was asking and saying, is this not the Christ? But when these people came, they came, they heard Christ and got to a point where they had to believe for themselves. They got to a point where they had to have a revelation about Christ on their own. Safety in the midst of a crisis comes when we get an understanding of Christ on our own. When we get a revelation of him on our own. This is a call that I want to give to the church and to you fellow brethren. That as a child of God, you develop faith. There are many things which you can rest your faith on. But the apostle in the first verse that we read today, says, when I came to you preaching, he predetermined to make sure that the faith of the children of God, the faith of the Corinthians, would be best and would depend on the word. When the word is believed in your heart, brothers and sisters, the word can do tremendous things in your life. And it is my call today that you may seek a personal experience. That you may not continue 
to depend on what you have heard, that you may not continue to depend on what others say about Christ, but that you may begin to have your own experience where you can testify and say, this is what the Lord has done for me. This is what God is doing in my life. Because even today, the word of God still works in the circumstances that we are in today. It doesn't matter how difficult your situation can be. Sometimes, even with the advancement in technology, we tend to have a lot of knowledge. And sometimes that not, by that knowledge, we seek to simplify and make the scripture of no effect, as if the scripture no longer works in our time, because we get to know a lot of things. But brothers and sisters, as I speak today, I want to emphasize and I want to say to you today, the word of God still works even in this age. It works if you choose to believe it, if you choose to act on it, if you choose to take steps that are steps of faith. I have heard millions and millions, probably just to say too many testimonies, of how the word of God transformed lives. But for some, it may remain just as a rumor. It may remain just as something that they hear from other people. But I want to tell you, if you choose to believe on the word, if you rest your faith on the word and not on human philosophies, there are a lot of stories, a lot of good speeches that people are offering which may not necessarily be the word of God. As I save the Lord, I've heard many people talking about the word, and I don't forget one day when one man came to me and saying, brother, I don't think the word of God still mean it about a specific point. He was doubting the word, but it's because of his experiences Probably in his personal life, in that specific area, he had not chosen to step out to exercise what the word of God says. Remember what the word says in the verse that we read last time from the book of Isaiah, where the Bible says, So shall my word that comes out of my mouth not return to me void. Brothers and sisters, this word is potent. It's packaged with power. It's full of power. And it can achieve great things in your life and in my life. If we believe it, I remember a testimony that I have about the word of God. In the year 2010, when my wife gave birth to our second born child, she was at Shawnee District Hospital. We received a report from the doctors, they examined her, and they said the child was dead in a womb. They had to try and rush to save the mother. They had to do everything to make sure the mother was safe as well. When I received the phone call, I was home, and something rose up in me. I said, no, it cannot be. I found a scripture. I found the word of God, where it says, there shall none among us be, be, be lose even a child in childbearing. I found it in the word and I responded to that word. I prayed. I was with my young brother, overseer Jonathan. We knelt down. We prayed. We declared. We spoke the child. We spoke that she is alive. We had everything written by the doctor that the child was dead. We had to go to the hospital. We started praying at the hospital. We started praying at the hospital. And while we were praying, we thank God my wife was in labor pains and she gave birth to a bouncing baby girl. We called her name Gabriella, meaning Jehovah is my strength. Brothers and sisters, there is no situation too big for God to handle nor too small for him to care about. He is concerned about your situation. I want us to make reference to the word of God once more. 
the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2. It says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with the faith of in them that he had it. This is one of the reasons why some Christians, even though they are good Christians, they believe they are Christians. But to them, they've never seen the results. Paul gives an explanation of a situation when he exemplifies what happened to Moses and the children of Israel. He says to them the word was preached as well as unto us. But the word that they had did not profit them. I want to comment and say faith is not just a New Testament principle, but it's a principle that even those in the Old Testament lived by. Abraham believed God against all odds, against even his own dead body. He believed, he did not count how dead Sarah's womb was. But against all those things, he believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. If you don't choose to believe, you will just hear of miracles as rumors. If you don't come to a point where you believe for yourself, if you don't come to a point where you receive revelation about Christ for yourself, all these things will just look like rumors for you. You just hear them from the next believer. I want to shake you. I want to shake and challenge your faith today. It doesn't matter what situation you are facing. Mix the word of God with faith. Act on it by faith. We had a report. The doctors had written it down. They would said the child is dead. We had a choice to make. But we chose to believe the report of the Lord. The report of the Lord says life. It was speaking life. It was saying it cannot be so. We held on to the scripture. We believed the scripture and God brought it to pass. You could be listening to me right now. Probably you are in a dead situation. Probably you have been announced and you have been told you are positive with regards to this COVID-19 problem. You could be in a cancer situation. Diabetes, HIV and AIDS. You can name it. But I want to tell you, when you mix the word of God with faith, the life of the word becomes your life. The life that is in the word of God becomes the life that is in you. And it is able, what does the Bible say? It says unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond all we can ask or think of, according to the power that worketh in us. The power is in us. It's the word in you. It makes a difference. It brings life. You can choose to believe and it can be well with you. You can choose to hold on to the word. You can choose to look at what God says and trust what he has said. And it can come to pass in your life. Paul says, unto us was the word preached as well as unto them. But the word they had did not profit them. There are many Christians today who have questions about principles. We have questions about the word. Simply because they have not mixed the word they had with faith. And they think it is impossible. The Bible rightly says the things that people think are impossible are possible with God. You can choose to bring possibility in impossibilities. This has nothing to do with where you come from. This has nothing to do with where you were born. But it has everything to do with your faith resting on the power of God. With your faith resting in the word of God. Do not just end on what you heard by others. Take a little step forward. Get to know him for yourself. Get to believe him for yourself. Get to trust him 
in your own circumstances. I remember at one time reading a book and hearing about a testimony of how somebody's house remained standing even after an earthquake. When she stood up to quote the word of God and proclaim Psalm 91. The word of God is real. It creates. It is a life-giving spirit. I want to refer to what the Lord Jesus Christ says in the book of John chapter 11, verse 39 to 40. He says in verse 39, Take ye away the stone. And Martha, the sister of him that was say, dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. She said, Lord, by this time he stinketh. He is stinking. There are situations in our lives that we think they are long dead. There are things that we have chosen to forget and get along with. But brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, no matter how dead your situation is, when the Lord says, take away the stone, better take it and believe. Here is what the Lord says in answer to you. Verse 40, Jesus said unto you, Said I not unto thee, if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. I want to say to someone who is listening to me today, if you would believe, you will see the glory of God. In the same area that you thought it was long done and there is nothing more that you can do. If you would choose to believe, you will see the glory of God. You would rejoice. You would glorify God. The Lord says, when I am glorified, I will draw many unto myself. Men will find reason to believe in God because you have chosen to believe. Jesus said unto you, said I not unto you. I'm saying the same to you today. If you would choose to believe in the word, if you would choose to believe in what God's word says about your situation, you will see God's glory in that particular area. As I conclude today, I want to make reference to the word of God in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 32 to 35. The apostle Paul says, And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, of Barak and Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of the fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weaknesses were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, women received their dead, raised to life again. And others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Brothers and sisters, this is God's word to you. This is God's word to me. Irregardless of our circumstances, we have a cloud of testimony and witness of men who through faith, we talk of Daniel, through faith, he, the, the lions of mouth, the mouths of lions were stopped. Lions could not eat him, no matter how hungry they were, no matter how desperate for food they were. I can tell of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who believed, and the fire could not burn them, no matter how fiery, no matter how much bad it was. But they chose to believe. As I share the word of God today, I want to conclude by saying, no matter how hard, no matter how difficult your circumstances are, choose to believe in the word of God. Choose to believe God's report about your circumstances. Many people end their story 
by believing what people say. There are people, as I share this word today, we have stopped the story of their lives on what people said. Many people out of the reality that is in their heart, they say it's impossible and you choose to believe it because they have said so. But as a child of God, go a step further. Hear him for yourself. Believe him for yourself. Walk a little further. Trust him for yourself. Trust him for your health. Trust him that he can take you further in your life. And you shall be unstoppable because the word of God in you is unstoppable. It is able, it is the ability of God in you that brings the ability to do the things that are impossible. The Bible records in the book of Psalm about the children of Israel. When they were going out of Egypt, it says, What did you see or see that you fled? And you, Jordan, as you march, you could be looking small before people. You could be despised. But God in you is greater than any other force in the world. And when you believe his word, it will surely come to pass in your life. No matter how difficult your circumstances are or your circumstances have been described as. May the Lord richly bless you. Shalom. Peace to you. Life to you. From the word of God. In Jesus name. Amen.